Hello and thank you for watching today's interactive test drive video where we're taking a ride into Universal Studios Orlando, Florida theme park to show you what it's like to ride a mobility scooter at a theme park. This is a 360 video, so if you're on a desktop, you can click and drag the screen to change the viewpoints, or if you're on a phone, you can just turn around, look up or down with your smartphone to change the viewpoint. As you can see, we're taking the Revo 2.0 in the four wheel configuration onto a boat trolley, which takes you straight to the theme park from the hotel. The whole process was very inviting, very easy. The boat captain was prepared with a ramp to allow me to maneuver my mobility scooter onto the boat after all the passengers have boarded the boat and sat down. Once everybody's seated, they take the ramp out and allow any additional passengers that have a mobility scooter to drive their scooter aboard. It looks like they can fit about two passengers with mobility scooters, possibly three. As you can see here, we have a nice front view of the entire boat. We have a lot of space because we have the mobility scooter and we're able to sit in that area that's pretty wide open right next to the captain's pit, which is pretty nice. You get to see all of the controls and I'll remind you that this is a 360 degree video, which means you can turn your phone if you're using a mobile phone, either to the left or the right. You can even look up or down to change the viewpoint of this video at any time. If you're on a desktop or a laptop, you can click and drag on the screen to start seeing what's behind us, in front of us, to the left, to the right, above or below us. That's because this video is made with a 360 degree camera. So in essence, we're going for a virtual reality test drive on the Pride Mobility Revo 2.0 scooter. In this video, I went with my fiance, soon wife-to-be, and my nephew, Colson. We went for a nice little family vacation and having the mobility scooter provided us with many perks and benefits, including being able to sit down instead of being on your feet all day, which can leave you with swollen feet. For me, I have a bad knee, so after three knee surgeries, if I stand up for more than an hour or two, my knee starts to hurt, my lower back starts to hurt. So aside from being able to stay seated the whole day comfortably, we were also able to do things like sit in the front of the boat, in certain cases, we were even getting escorted to the front of the line because in certain rides, they didn't have any of the wheelchairs that were specifically designed to go through the lines of the ride. So we actually got to skip a good amount of the wait for some of the more popular rides. But all in all, it was a really great experience and we want to show you what it's like in case you're wondering what it would be like to take a mobility scooter to either Disney World or, in this case, Universal Studios, which is in Orlando, Florida, as well. So enjoy the ride. We're going to be going for a little boat ride now. I'm going to fast forward and tune back in shortly. All right, and as you can see, after a short little boat ride, which was really nice to get some fresh air and some sun, it was pretty early, so it wasn't too hot. It is the summer in Florida, so it did start to heat up throughout the day, but at this point in time, we were at, on the boat at around 8 a.m., and it was still pretty cool out. It's a beautiful boat ride, and as you can see, the captain put the ramp down for us and allowed us to back up out of the boat safely. He held the ramp there and allowed uh, all the other passengers to get out first, so it was 
there was a lot of space for me to get the scooter out without having to really worry about being in anybody's way. Uh, we weren't in a huge hurry because we did have early access passes to the park, so as you can see, there really weren't too many people around at all. And at this point, we're just riding the mobility scooter through CityWalk, making our way to the front entrance of Universal Studios. CityWalk is a really neat place, which has many restaurants and shops. There's a lot of nightlife if you go there. Uh, at nighttime, after going through the parks, they're open pretty late. There's a movie theater. It's just a really nice place to be. And we actually went there after leaving the park and walking through City Walk on the way out. You'll see a little bit of that as well towards the end of this video. But now we're approaching the Universal Studios globe, which you can see ahead here on the video. Uh, in the big lake, there's that globe that rotates that says Universal. It's a very iconic piece there in Universal Studios, which many people like to take pictures of and selfies of themselves in front of that globe. It makes a really good picture. And it's definitely a great uh, memory to make if you have a camera. So you might see many people stopping here taking pictures. Uh, this is again right at the entrance of the Universal Studios theme park, which we're making our way to shortly with uh, some guests that we met on the boat, which also had a mobility scooter and became uh, friends with us here at the entrance, as soon as uh, we got off the boat, we were kind of chatting about the different scooters and how some come with a rooftop canopy accessory. It's a very, very convenient thing to have at a theme park. You'll see many other people at the theme parks had mobility scooters, which they purchased or rented. Uh, we offer this mobility scooter for sale, tax-free. Free shipping right on our website, mobilityscootersdirect.com. It was honestly a blast taking the Revo 2.0, which does have suspension and a 20-inch wide, very comfortable seat. The scooter has ample storage space in the front basket. We didn't bring the rear cage-style basket, but if you have one of those, it's a really good accessory to take with you. You can put backpacks in there, ponchos, snacks, drinks, and I was... Limited because I only had the front basket, which comes with the scooter for free, but I would say it's definitely worth it to get the rear cage style basket for an extra few bucks just to have that extra storage space. The rear storage basket's actually about twice as big as the front storage basket. But all in all, this was a super comfortable scooter. It had a good amount of speed. I was able to maneuver through the crowds and get ahead of you know certain crowds when I needed to. Uh, by turning up the speed and I was able to really turn down the top speed with the speed control knob to go really slow in certain areas where I needed to where there was a lot of traffic. Uh, but at this point in time when we were entering the park, traffic was relatively low. Again, we did have the uh, early access passes so there wasn't a ton of people waiting in line. In fact, we just kind of moseyed on right through without anybody waiting in front of us. They make you do a little fingerprint scan, they check your tickets, and apparently they don't really check your bags if you have a mobility scooter, I guess, or maybe they just forgot to, but um, they were checking bags in the other lines, and we noticed that they didn't, so we kind of regretted not bringing our own drinks. Waters uh, tend to be pretty expensive at the theme parks, but, you know, we didn't know that would happen, so next time <laughs> we might try something different. At this point, we made our way into the park. So as you can see, the process is pretty easy. There's nothing really difficult about it. If you have a mobility scooter, you just ride on through the gates. Uh, you don't have to even get out of your scooter at all. And that's it. Now we made it into the park. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cue some music and allow you all to enjoy the ride as we start getting our way into the park and making our way to the different sections of Universal Studios. And then eventually, We'll make our way into Islands of Adventures. Enjoy. So we've made our way into the park a bit further than just being near the entrance and uh, we see our very first roller coaster here which looks really terrifying. It's got a huge elevation point and then a 
extremely steep drop, a loop-de-loop, a -loop, uh, little too much for my little nephew to be able to ride. I don't think he met the height requirements and we weren't going to, you know, ride it without him. So we didn't stop there, but we continued on to some of the more child-friendly rides and you know, we were really here for the uh, the sake of bringing our nephew and showing them a really good time and making great memories. Uh, it wasn't about us, so we skipped on to the rides that our nephew could ride. Uh, the roller coasters like that one, uh, he just was not tall enough. So a little unfortunate, but he still had a blast. We made our way into Harry Potter world, and he loved it. He's a huge fan of Harry Potter. A lot of the kids are. And having a mobility scooter was honestly the only way I could take my nephew to recreate or to create a memory at the theme park because without it, my knee just hurts too much to be on my feet for an entire day at a theme park. We spent a good six or seven hours minimum out and about that day that we made this video and it was great. It was gorgeous. The sun was out. It was a beautiful day. We had beautiful uh, scenes and scenery all around us. As you can see here, there's waterfalls and big monuments, bridges. I mean, it's just a really fun place to go. And for a lot of people out there, including myself, it, it can't be done without a mobility scooter or mobility device. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying this video. I'm going to go ahead and cue some more music and just allow you to enjoy the scenery here as we make our way through the park to different areas. And then we'll show you uh, some action footage of what it's like to actually ride one of the uh, roller coasters here where I take the camera for a ride on the actual roller coaster. Stay tuned, enjoy the music. All right, and as you can see here, we're in Harry Potter World, where it's a very, very fun place to take the little ones. It really feels like you're in a truly a Harry Potter world. I mean, the buildings, the the, the rides, there's the, the staff that are dressed up in their costumes. Everything about it just is so realistic. It feels like you're part of the movie. It's a really fun place to be. I enjoyed it. I know my nephew Colson loved it. He'll probably remember this forever. And having the mobility scooter was definitely the right choice. There were many people with mobility scooters. It seems like more people that were on mobility scooters than not at certain points. Um, they accommodate you pretty well. Uh, as you can see in this point, I'm getting escorted right to the front of the line because that's, they ran out of uh, the manual wheelchairs that they would offer you if you needed to be um, assisted with one because you can't actually ride your mobility scooter through the lines at certain lines. But if you have an express pass, which we did, they allow you to basically go up to the front if they don't have any manual wheelchairs available for you to go into the express lane with. In this case, we got lucky because it was one of the best rides. It was the motorcycle ride in Harry Potter World, which happens to always have like a two hour long wait. In this case, we waited for about 30 minutes until we got to the entrance of the express lane and they said, well, we don't have any wheelchairs right now, but you know, if you need to, we'll just export you to the front and you won't have to wait. So I said, wow, that's great. I lucked out. And if you have a mobility scooter and they don't have any manual wheelchairs, 
you might be fortunate enough to have that happen to you as well. Now, as you can see here, I have a camera in my hand and we're going down a roller coaster. It was so much fun and Colson had a blast. We got soaked, but it was awesome. <laughs> now, fortunately for me, my knee does hurt, but I am able to walk for short periods of time. We realize not everybody's mobility and limitations are the same, but if you can walk for a little while and you have a mobility scooter, uh, you can basically go on most of the rides. In some cases, you will need to stand up and transfer into a ride. Uh, it can be difficult, but if you're like me and you have uh, just a bad knee and you can walk around, but for long distances you can't, the mobility scooter is the way to go. And again, this was the Revo 2.0 model by Pride Mobility in the four-wheel configuration. It has a USB charging port on it, which was really nice because when my phone was getting low, I was able to charge my battery using the mobility scooter batteries and the charging port. The 20 inch wide seat configuration on the four wheel setup can hold up to 400 pounds. So when the family got tired, they rode with me and the seat was big enough to accommodate both of us. I was able to walk for a little while as well when my fiance wanted to go for a little ride. At the end of the day, even if you aren't limited with your mobility, being on your feet for eight hours or six hours, it hurts. At the end of the day, you typically have swollen feet when you, swollen feet when you go to a theme park for the entire day. In this case, the entire family went and none of us had sore feet the next day. So I highly recommend using a mobility scooter for a theme park or for really any type of outing that involves being on your feet for a long time, especially if you have any type of bad knee, bad back that prevents you from being on your feet regularly or in any other scenario. We hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this video and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative and subscribe to our channel if you want to get notified whenever we release new videos just like this one. Remember, you can actually use a VR headset to make this experience even more immersive. And we do offer those VR headsets for sale. Give us a call. Thank you for watching. I'm Sergio with Mobility Scooters Direct. Have a great day.